Good evening and welcome. You're watching News Break with me, Sanket Upadhyay. So tomorrow is the big day where if you have a 2,000 rupee note, a currency note, uh, you may want to get it exchanged. It's You still have time till the 30th of September. We do not know whether this deadline is going to be extended or not, but uh, do get it exchanged because the 2,000 rupee bill uh, is a legal tender, but... The government recommends that you return it back to the bank and maybe take a currency note of another denomination or perhaps put it in your bank, submit it in your bank account, deposit it there. So on this show, we are going to tell you all the things that you need to know come tomorrow when this offer is going to open for the people. So what do you do if you have 2,000 rupee notes? Now, as we told you, 2,000 rupee notes will remain a legal tender. It's not like November 2016 where 500 and 1,000 bills uh, were not legal tender. No. So these remain legal tender. It's officially currency, but the government is discouraging the use and thus saying that you please return it to the bank. On the 23rd of May onwards, you can exchange 2,000 rupee notes at any bank. The exchange of notes is going to be allowed till the 30th of September. You can exchange up to 10 notes at a time, which means 20,000 rupees. And there is no cap on the number of times you can exchange, which means you can do multiple exchanges on a single day. It's just that the volume of the transaction cannot be more than 20,000. So if, say, for instance, you've got 40,000 rupees, so you divide your notes in two parts. Uh, exchange the first 20,000 and then, then go back into the queue and then come back and exchange another 20,000. If you have 60,000, then again repeat this cycle. So that is what needs to be done. So in one go, one person deposits only 20,000. And the SBI says that there is no ID proof or form which is needed for exchange, which means that one person can deposit again. It's just that you will have to move in a cycle. Now, RBI has explained why all of this is happening. So the 2,000 rupee note has been withdrawn. The RBI says that the, the note was introduced in 2016 to meet the currency requirements after demonetization, which means that suddenly a lot of notes were sucked out of the system. So in order to repopulate the currency and bring it back into circulation, and that too fast, a higher denomination was used, which is 2,000. The RBI says that the objective has been met as enough notes are available in other denominations. So one does not need a 2,000 rupee currency. In fact, the RBI also says that the printing of these notes stopped in 2018-19. And 89% of the notes at the end of their estimated lifespan of 4 to 5%. Four to five years, beg your pardon. So 89% of these 2,000 notes are already approaching the end of their life cycle. Other bank notes are enough, the RBI says, to meet the currency requirement and to make good quality notes available under the clean note policy. This is not commonly used for transactions also, is what the RBI wants us to believe. Now, what exactly is the share of circulation of 2,000 rupee currency notes? Now, you and I don't use it too often. Look at your wallet and you will realize it's been a while since you saw the pink note. The share in the value of notes in circulation is on your screen right now. So in March 2018, 37.3% of the total value of currency notes were the 2,000 rupee denomination. That in March 2023 is only 10.8%, which means the remaining notes are already with the government, they've been phased out, and only 10%, 10.8% of the 2,000 rupee denomination is out there circulating in the public. Now, these notes have been withdrawn. Let's also quickly tell you the value of money in circulation. So, in March 2018, 6.73 lakh crore rupees were circulating as 2,000 rupee bill. Now this 
in March 2023 has reduced to 3.62 lakh crore rupees. This by no way means that the value of currency in circulation in all has declined. No, that is not the argument we are building. We are saying that of the total money in circulation, the 2000 rupee note was 6.73 lakh crores in March 2018. That 2000 currency note in terms of its actual value in the market has reduced to 3.62 lakh crore rupees. This is what this means. Now the notes are being withdrawn. Let's also quickly tell you about the number of notes in circulation. In 2020, uh, 274 crores, which is 2.4%. In 2021, 245 crores. And in 2022, 214 crores, which is 1.6%. Now, uh, before we move any further, it's very important for us to understand. Remember, a lot of people, uh, all of us in our uh, homes are discussing this. What do we do? What does one have to do? So there are a lot of frequently asked questions. Some answers we already have. Remember, this is work in progress. And just like demonetization, here also we are noticing that the government seems to be coming up with policy or clarification as we go along. We may expect more clarifications as we go along. So what are those frequently asked questions and what has NDTV learnt by way of sources so far? Here is Sakshi Bajaj with an explainer. It's time to answer all your frequently asked questions on the exchange of the 2000 rupee notes. The first question coming our way is of course, can different banks be visited multiple times to exchange 2000 rupee notes? The answer to that as per sources is yes at the moment. The second question is, can multiple trips be made to the same bank to exchange the 2000 rupee notes? Sources say yes at the moment for this as well. However, there are also of course other questions such as, are banks well equipped to avoid the queues and the rush altogether? To which the RBI has said yes and in fact also reiterated the fact that due to the summer heat, care must be taken. And of course, enough must be provided to look into that. Now, does one need to panic or rush to exchange these notes? Of course, the clear answer to that at the moment is no. Now, uh, do we need documents to exchange the 2000 rupee notes? Remember, SBI also came out with a circular and said, look, there's no need for documents to exchange these 2000 rupee notes at the moment. Of course, other things that we've witnessed over the past two days are things like doctors, fuel pumps, Salons even refusing to accept the 2000 rupee notes. So can this be done? The RBI says no, as the 2000 rupee notes, remember, continue to be legal tender. And so therefore, this must not be done. The last question really, and the most important one coming our way at the moment, is will the 2000 rupee notes be legal tender after the 30th of September? The clear answer to this is yes. So then what will happen after September 30th is what many are asking and many are wondering. Now the RBI has said, look, people are encouraged to exchange these notes, these 2000 rupee notes by September 30th, as every policy is to have a beginning and an end date. So the RBI clearly saying that, look, we're trying to streamline this process and give it a time frame. Remember, RBI may bring different riders after September 30th. So that's something we have to keep in mind at the moment. So be prepared. There could be more clarification. There could be changes. There could be some new riders. Uh, perhaps the policy will be eased. All of these things are in the realm of possibility. Now, meanwhile, how's this decision on the eve of the exchanging process beginning is playing out on the ground? NDTV's Tanishk sent us this report from a petrol pump which has suddenly seen an increase in cash payout and that too. Guess which denomination? Now I am at a petrol pump in Delhi and I am joined by the owner of the petrol pump, Mr. Rajesh Sachdeva, who is going to tell us what is exactly happening uh, on the ground by the people. Sir, so when the notification came from 2,000 rupees of the petrol, did people start the petrol from 2,000 rupees of the petrol? Actually, since this was announced on TV that 2,000 rupees notes are going to be withdrawn from a certain date, right from that very moment, people started coming to, I think, to every petrol pump. And the basics that is happening over here is that they are withdrawing petrol for 
as little as 50 rupees and giving a note of rupees 2000 and so now yesterday since banks were also closed so we got so much of 2000 rupee notes that we haven't seen since they were launched in 2016 now the problem is that we can't give them the kind of a change back because if, if somebody is drawing for 50 rupees or 100 rupees or 200 rupees it is very difficult to give them because nobody is coming up moreover even the debit cards and credit cards and payments through UPI also is not happening. So everybody is coming with 2000 rupee notes. You can see the you see the, how, how the vehicles are stranded over here. So this is what is happening over here. So uh, Jesse Key, I, as you were saying that people are coming even to, for, for, for 50 rupees petrol, they are giving a 2000 rupee note. So are they if you are saying no, are they insisting on taking it and then what is happening? Like, yes. if, Give me an example of a customer. Yes, yes, yes. People people are coming up with, with all their heated you know, arguments and they are saying no, they want money. All that we have now to offer them is that take a receipt from us that we have taken this much is uh, you have given us and this much is the balance. So, so that you can come back again and take petrol from us, this is the only thing that we can offer them now. We don't have any any change to give them back. And this is this situation is like, have you seen this before? This kind of situation, these many two thousand rupee notes? No, 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 never, never. And uh, you see, since yesterday, as I told you, the banks were closed. So today, I think we have uh, such a lot of two thousand rupee notes to be sent to the bank. So, well, we haven't seen over the period you know since they were launched even okay thank you sir so i can see that a lot of your employees here at uh, uh, the petrol pump are having 2000 rupee notes in their hand so that was the owner talking to us telling us the situation that people are really coming out with 2000 rupee notes and getting uh, petrol filled in their vehicles in new delhi with camera person mursaleen tanish punjabi for ndtv uh, this all sounds and appears a bit similar because in 2016, that's exactly what, what people were doing, uh, filling up petrol and diesel using the old 500 and 1000 rupee notes. There's another thing that people were doing in 2016 that is going to a jeweler, perhaps to buy some jewelry. Is the same happening now? Pooja Bharadwaj finds out. बीस हजार के डर से लोगों ने बुलियन लेना शुरू किया है तो लोग दो दो हजार के नोट ला रहे हैं और बुलियन लेके जा रहे हैं क्या कितने फीस दी ग्राहकों की बढ़ोतरी हुई है अगर हम बिल्कुल शुक्रवार से अभी तक देखे तो कम से कम जो हम रोज के दस से बीस कस्टमर देखते थे वो बीस वाले चालीस हो गए अब देख रहे इस समय भी कस्टमरों की भीड़ है एक तादाद लगी हुई है कस्टमरों की बिल्कुल हाँ शत प्रतिशत लोगों के डर है की भाई रुपया है तो रुपये को कहाँ ले जाए कैश लेकर ही दो हजार का कैश लेकर हमको सरकार ने लिमिट दी हुई है दो लाख के ऊपर आपको पैन कार्ड लेना है सब डिटेल लेनी है दो लाख के अंदर कैश बिल्कुल के वाई लाख की लिमिट है तो दो लाख के ऊपर हम जो सोना देते हैं उसमें के वाई लेते हैं और दो लाख के अंदर में हम कैश लेके उनको दे सकते हैं अगर हम आपसे जानकारी ले सके ये पेमेंट आप डिजिटल पेमेंट करने वाली है या दो हजार के कैश दो हजार के कैश में करने वाली है तो आपके पास बचे हुए हैं कैश लेके आए हैं ना कितना लेकर आई है दो लाख लेके और और कैश बचे हुए आपके पास दो हजार के नहीं है अच्छा ये मार्केट में बहुत दिनों से तो दो हजार का कैश था नहीं लेकिन आपने बचा के रखे हुए थे नहीं थे आ रहे बिजनेस वाले तो आएंगे ना अच्छा अच्छा बिजनेस परिवार में सो दिस इज़ द रिएक्शंस फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड � now, what are people saying? There are some noted economists like uh, Professor Arun Kumar and also a senior BJP leader. Uh, he also files PILs in the Supreme Court. His name is Ashwini Upadhyay, who is questioning the manner in which this decision will be executed. Let's listen. I have Delhi High Court in PIL file that the note is changed in 2000. It is only 19 मई को जो आरबीआई का नोटिफिकेशन आया उसको मैंने दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में चैलेंज किया है 20 मई को जो स्टेट बैंक का नोटिफिकेशन आया उसको मैंने दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में चैलेंज किया है क्योंकि इस नोटिफिकेशन में तीन कमियां हैं पहला इसमें डॉक्यूमेंट नहीं मांगा गया है यानी कौन पैसा लेके आ रहा है वो नक्सली है कि माओवादी है कि कोई माफिया है कौन पैसा जमा करने आ रहा है यह बैंक को पता ही नहीं चलेगा दूसरा 
पर डे की कोई लिमिट सेट नहीं किया है उसमें लिखा है कि एक बार में बीस हजार रुपए ले सकते हैं इसका मतलब अगर बैंक के अधिकारी और कर्मचारी से साठ गांठ हो जाए तो दो दो मिनट के अंदर पे बीस बीस हजार रुपए लेते रहिए अभी बीस हजार रुपए ले लीजिए फिर दो मिनट के बाद बीस हजार फिर दो मिनट के बाद बीस हजार फिर दो मिनट के बाद बीस हजार तो दिन भर में दस दस लाख रुपए और से ज्यादा बदल सकते और तीसरा जब पिछली बार का अनुभव यह बताता है कि 2016 में बहुत बड़े पैमाने पे 20 परसेंट कमीशन पे नोट बदली हुई थी तो दोबारा वही नोटिफिकेशन फिर क्यों जारी किया गया भारत में 30 करोड़ परिवार हैं और 130 करोड़ आधार बन चुका है इसका मतलब चार से पांच आधार हर परिवार में है ऐसा कोई परिवार बचा ही नहीं है जिसके घर में आधार नहीं है तो जब सबके घर में आधार है सबके घर में राशन कार्ड है या कोई और डॉक्यूमेंट है तो फिर बैंक में डॉक्यूमेंट क्यों नहीं देखा जा रहा दूसरा 48 करोड़ लोगों का जनधन खाता खुल चु, खुल चुका है टोटल भारत में 225 करोड़ खाते हैं बैंक अकाउंट मिला लीजिए आपका जो बाकी और पोस्ट ऑफिस का अकाउंट होता है पी अकाउंट होता है पीपीएफ पी अकाउंट होता है फिक्स डिपोजिट के अलग अकाउंट होता है करंट अकाउंट होता है सेविंग अकाउंट सारे अकाउंट मिला के दो करोड़ खाते भारत में खुल चुके जरा सोचिए जब पिछली बार जब पिचासी प्रतिशत नोट निकाल दिए थे तो उससे काली कमाई नहीं रुकी थी काला धन नहीं रुका था तो अब ये जो दस परसेंट साढ़े दस परसेंट करेंसी निकालने से क्या होगा उससे कोई जो खत्म नहीं होगा और पिछली बार भी हमने देखा कि निन्यानवे तो सारा कैश वापिस आ गया था और इस बार तो पूरा का पूरा जो 2000 का नोट वापस आ जाएगा तो इसलिए काली कमाई पे या काले धन पे कोई इसका असर नहीं होगा बट शेयर सम पीपल हु आर रेजिंग डाउट्स देर आर अदर्स हु फील दैट दिस इज अ गुड डिसीजन सो हियर इज इकोनॉमिस्ट विजय सरदाना एज वेल एज बीजेपी लीडर सुशील मोदी हु रेज्ड इट इन पार्लियामेंट आल्सो दैट दीस करेंसी नोट्स मस्ट गो लेट्स लिसन इनटू व्हाट दे हैड टू से common man is not impacted definitely people those who have a hoarding of this uh, large currency notes they must be worried because this may be either unaccounted money or they must have kept it for some other reasons because when currency is not in use it has no meaning to say that people are impacted because nobody is using it so this is my uh, reason is that ki what rbi has done it's a correct decision because life of a paper currency note is about 4 to 5 years and this note was printed last time about 5 years ago dekhiye ye to bahut hi acha nirnay bharat sarkar ne kiya hai kyunki dekhiye puri duniya ke andar jo badi arthvyavasthaen hain america europe china japan kahin bhi 100 rupees se zyada ka ki koi mudra nahi hai aur market mein to iska koi istemal ho nahi raha tha केवल होर्डिंग के अंदर काले धन के रूप में लोगों ने इसको जमा कर रखा था कि लोग खर्च नहीं कर रहे थे तब ये पैसा बाहर निकल आएगा और इसका इस्तेमाल मुख्य रूप से टेरर फंडिंग जो ड्रग जो ड्रग माफिया हैं जो इस प्रकार के जो क्रिप्टो करेंसी है इस तरह के अपराध से जुड़ी चीजों के अंदर ही और काले धन के रूप में इसका इस्तेमाल हो रहा था so all those who have the 2000 rupee uh, currency note uh, they do know if you don't want to spend it then you can go to the bank and get it exchanged